to pass out? It's not about to pass out. This is a normal thing that happens to me on flights. So what happened? So basically, every time I fall asleep, every time I fall asleep, when I wake up, I have a problem. We spoke to him about this before it sounded with socks and stuff like that. Like people who sleep with socks. <laughs> Everyone says that. Are I sleep with people who sleep with socks are killers. You're They're sorry. killers. I'm not. Yeah, you are. I have a problem in the heat. It's, it's weird. Really, like, it, like pulls you in. It's like bad. No, no, I'm not even. Doing, I'm not. I'm being dead ass. If you, if you don't, if you don't sleep with socks one day, uh-huh. right? You're not gonna be able to sleep with socks anymore. If you Adam, Adam, day, that's not true. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What's not true? What's not true? Bro, my room is frozen. That's, I have to sleep in ice, and for so on the winter time, I do sleep in air condition. But anyways. No, it is. It's, it is true. It is true. Let me tell you guys what happens every time I sl every time I'm on a flight. I think it's because I have very low blood pressure. That's number one. Number two, I literally get suffocated in the heat a lot. No, I do. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. Today, probably like four. Well, like I drink four. So that was one. Shut the fuck out. Um. <laughs> so I was gonna pass out. I fell asleep and I woke up and I started to get like a panic attack. So I kind of like chilled a bit. So I hit the fucking ding to add for ice. And he tells me no ice. He tells me to fucking click this to put some air in my face. <laughs> First of all, I was gonna die because I always. Rely I don't think anyone can hear what you're saying. <laughs> no, you can't. I rely on ice. I rely on ice a lot. And Sandra, Sandra. Bro, Sandra was so angry at the pilot with the way he landed. Like, <laughs> with, like bro, why? And because he she was landed. so no, no, angry, bro. No, no, because no, he landed so. I've oh, never seen. Yeah, Sandra's like. <laughs> she I was wakes like, up. No, I was like mad. this. Because it's like, why, why do you have to this? land like it's, that? God. For those of you who like, if your blood pressure drops, first of all, it's because of the way you're sitting on a plate. So you kind of have to straighten out your legs, okay? Mm -hmm. Or just walk, that's number one. Number two, the biggest thing is heat. Always take off what you're wearing to get yourself a little bit cold. And number three is if flight attendant gives you ice, use it. And if not, I use put a water bottle and I put it on my neck, on my back. I say that to everyone because it kind of shocks your body in a way. Mm -hmm. And orange or, juice or, for me. Or, or put a little salt on your tongue. Putting salt on your tongue. Ew, I hate when you do that with your lips. Why don't you show them what you do? Mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Amy, so first of all, you have to record it the other way. Uh, Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Typical. Hi, Sandra. So they were gonna do the fucking 21 questions with Amy she had for the vote. Right? <laughs> Come join me. Okay, girl, we are getting on the plane right now. So <laughs> what, ki what kind of shoes are you wearing? What kind of bag are you wearing? <gasps> what kind of fucking tea you're gonna spill right now? That's me. Okay, let's follow up. Sandra. Hi. Hi. So uh, where are you going? Great. Where's Hill? Amy and Amir. Is there any specific reason you're going for? We're going for my brother's Oh, birthday. wow, that's fun. Oh, what are you wearing? Can you tell us? It looks very bright and beautiful. All things head on. Wow, and what sneakers? Great. Oh my God, love that bag. So, Sandra, is there anything new that you want to talk to us about? Something maybe you're working on? Life? What's going on? Um, not really. Everything's kind of super. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm going to just turn this off here and we'll continue this once we land on the island. Nice seeing you. Bye, nice seeing you. went away for my brother's 21st birthday so it's just me my sister adam and her boyfriend and i wanted to just vlog for you guys our time here because this is such a beautiful place and i wanted to give you guys a house tour um and just show you guys my day to day um so yeah okay so this is my bathroom 
And I just hung up some things that I felt like were getting wrinkled, clearly. They got wrinkled. Um, this is my suitcase bed. And then it's so pretty out here. It's a really, really cute villa. And it's right on the beach. another room this is the living room it's very cute and then yeah that is the home it's really really small really cute um, it's just perfect because it's not a lot of us so yeah and the weather is so so beautiful so I wanted to show you guys the way I packed my my suitcase the way i pack is i put fits together and then i just literally fold them together so when i want it i just take it and it's like super easy and then for makeup i put it in this dior bag but i put like foundation um concealers powders in here and then in here I have just like, mostly it is all of the, oh, did this spill? Mostly this is just eyeshadows and then here is like um, clean and clear cleansers, deodorant, hairspray, and then my straightener and curler. And guys, look how pretty this is over here so nice it's like an outdoor shower so pretty okay guys so this is my first bathing suit fit that i want to wear and i wanted to pair it up with this hat so i think it looks cute and yeah i'm gonna go take a picture and eat because we're so hungry and we haven't eaten all day. Rotini! <laughs> so today we are making rotini and I don't know why we're saying rotini. Yeah, it's basically for sushi. And Adam is the special guest yes, on my YouTube and we are going to chef it up today. Mm -hmm. But this is not a crazy <laughs> pasta we're making just because we are in Turks. We didn't have all of the, the things. Greens. Yeah. And um, that's it. So w this is the Sorry. best sauce. It's called Rouse. Rouse. I always mess it up. Rouse. Look, I got um, tomato basil and there's I think we should the use Arbiata. this one. Arbiata. It's a little spicy though. Okay, fine. We'll do tomato. I don't like basil. What? I hate basil. But I guess it's No, I'm saying try both of them right now. I already know that. This is like spicy marinara. Yeah, I know. Clearly, <laughs> it says it right there. Literally, spicy marinara. Yeah, okay, so let's get started. So which one are we using? Um, I think we should do... Where's the salt? The tomato basil. Okay, so you have to show them what we did, Adam. Okay. So, so what did you do? So we added salt. some water in the pot, adding some salt. In the pot? And turning it on. Oh, that's the salt already. That's not. Oh. Adam, one thing you guys don't know about him is that he's actually a chef. So yeah. we're gonna see what you got. And his birthday is soon. Yeah. How many more hours? I don't even know. What okay. phone's that? Oh, Five. You... Oh, yeah. Is that the right clock? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. It's gonna be 21. What a big boy. <laughs> we, we're sorry, we don't really know how to use these. Um, So we're gonna add some olive oil. But you have to know that this is like a really like when you have no ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I said. Like the reason why we're making this like this is because we're not at home yeah. and we're really hungry. We want some pasta. 
some pepper, some salt. I thought we'd want pasta, it's the only thing that we can eat. Yeah. Right yeah, since Turks, literally they made a rule yesterday, or passed the law, what is it? Rule. I don't know what it is, but yesterday, we came today and they decided to do this yesterday. Um, Adam, like Adam, that, Adam, Why it's splattering because you have to lower your hand, sweet cheeks. Uh, well, now I learned. <laughs> He's asking me if he can use this. What are you saying? Yeah, put the whole sauce in though. Yeah, but I just gotta mix up with the oil real quick. Yeah, so they said that, so basically everything here in Turks closes at six. Restaurants, everything, so. It's crazy. Now we're adding pasta to the water. And yeah, we'll update you guys. So Adam added some butter and some half and half. And he's adding a little bit more. And what is the reason for this stuff? Just make it a little creamier, uh, a little lighter. I think it makes it a little heavier. heavier. No, like a little like lighter sauce and more milk. Sauce? At the, the sauce, out of the texture, and the temperature right now. really good. So we're gonna put that aside right there. Make sure the pasta always leaves some, some, some uh, pasta water. Yeah, usually it's good when you leave some pasta water yeah. and add it with the sauce. I don't sauce. know how much pasta water is in here right now. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright. That's all done. And now we're gonna mix it all together. And there you have it, some Not pasta. No, go. but it's yeah. finished. Basically. <laughs> I think we put too much water. <laughs> no. no, that's how it be. That's, uh, it's you really add, soupy. No, but you gotta add another stick of butter and it, sit, and it makes it soupy. Okay, let's see. Good morning. I just woke up. It's like 7 a.m. And we are gonna get ready to go to the beach. Before that, we are going to eat some breakfast. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to start the day. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, guys. Hi, how are you? We're off to the boat. Adam, say hi. Okay, wait. You're going to have to put my bag in here. Hold the door. <laughs> Yeah, he's a lot of them. Here, put lock that. Lock it, lock it. You know what? Lock it. Wait, where did my drink go? You oh, it. Oh, it's right here. You want the lemonade shit? Sure. So Adam just made us some banana smoothies. Cheers. Thank you. So are you the fucking birthday bitch or are we out? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Even though it's your birthday, we should be making you this. Mm. Welcome to Squawk Fitness, ladies. Good morning, guys. <clears throat> well, 
Good morning, guys. Um, so I, as you can see, got so burnt on the boat yesterday. I can not even feel my face. Um, I would just wear this cow bathing suit today, and I have like this cow cowboy hat. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to make some breakfast. It's seven thirty over here. I usually just wake up in early in general, like whether I'm on vacation or whether I'm at home. I just like to start my day off early. Oh, I swear I can't even move my face. So I'm gonna use, usually at home, I use Nescafe and then the Coffee Mate, but the um, Coffee Mate that is flavored, not the original one. Um, I don't like the original. I usually like um, the vanilla, French vanilla, or the hazelnut one. So. Let me see what this has. It has SPF 30 only. I need SPF 200. <laughs> you need, you need 70. like 50 or something. Yeah. You hold my face. I know. Oh my god. You look at me. You're worse, actually. You're like a tomato. You've never really gotten this can before. Got really burnt yesterday. Oh. On the boat, Adam. Whenever oh. you go on a boat, you always get hit like that because you're in the sun so much you don't even realize. And there was mad wind, but well, usually you get tan. Or well, we're in Egypt. We were not killed all the time. Yes, you did get tan. No, no, I didn't get burned. I don't know. You have to wear sunscreen. I told you, you didn't listen. You didn't give it. You didn't no, you, you said, I don't want to turn on the opposite. You of would? course, that's why it doesn't hurt me. Okay. No, I'm joking. It does hurt me a little bit. But, no, but because I think my body doesn't hurt my face. does. Because I didn't put on my face. So my body doesn't hurt me because I put sunscreen. Sunscreen does not prevent you from getting skin. It, it just, just prevents you from getting hurt. Yes. Exactly. Then I'm using this coffee mate, even though I like the other one, but... Guys, look at how beautiful it is. Obviously, it's very early right now, so it's not that sunny, but... Ooh, there's a bee! Oh no, that's a butterfly. What is that? that I just have to say to myself I would be thankful for everything. Um, and you guys should too. Honestly, I know sometimes we don't get what we want. Um, we're upset at certain things, whether it's like relationships or family things or work or jobs. Wait, work is jobs. But you know what I mean. Like if you don't get a specific opportunity, I just feel like it's important to be grateful no matter what because I feel like things in life happen for a reason. <sighs> so I feel like things happen in life for a reason and you are meant to be in the position you are for a reason. Obviously you can better yourself in so many ways um, through time but I feel like don't get upset if you don't get the job you wanted. Don't get upset if the guy you want to talk to doesn't want to talk to you because maybe it wasn't right for you and maybe it wasn't the right time, you know? Um, and also don't get upset if you lost your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or fiance because that all happens for a reason. Maybe it was a lesson for you to learn and, um, Maybe it was a lesson for you to learn and maybe it wasn't the right person for you. So I feel like, don't ever force things. Obviously try your hardest for it, but 
things come the way they're supposed to come and they happen for a reason. So I don't think we should ever be upset at things that we can't control and things that didn't go our way because like I said, it was, I just feel like sometimes it's supposed to happen that way. And yeah, and I think we should be grateful for everything we have, even if we don't have it, if we don't have much, you know? Um, and if you wanna work hard, for something, work harder for it, go after it, don't be scared, who cares what other people think of you, like I always say, go after what you want to do, not what other people want you to do, you know, so, the problem with us, I feel like, is we always just care what people think, if we do something specific that we want to do, you know, in life, I feel like we're supposed to take risks and um, we're supposed to do what we feel is right within our heart, whether it has to do with a job, relationship, or anything. So just go after it, do it, um, and I promise you, you will feel 10 times much better after, like, for example, I always say this, like, if you want to secretly become an actor, right? Like, to be honest, I wouldn't even mind acting. Like, I would actually go out of my way, go take some classes, get an agent, do all that stuff. Because I don't care what people think of me. At the end of the day, it's my life, and I want to live it the way I want to live it. Um, and nobody has the right... Oh, my God, there's a lizard, a mini lizard. Look at that little boy. Or girl, I don't even know. So cute. But yeah, as I was saying, sorry, sometimes I have like ADD. Um, nobody has the right to tell you to do otherwise, you know? It's your life, live it how you want to live it. Um, so if you want to be an actress, singer, dancer, teacher, lawyer, just go do it. Do what you have to do to do that and try your hardest at it. Um, and if you don't get it, just keep trying. And then if you don't get it and you're like, you know what, this isn't for me, then it isn't for you. You try it the first time and you don't feel like you like it, move on, do something else. You know, I don't know. Life is a funny thing sometimes, I feel like. But I just wanted to talk to you guys sometimes. Because I love talking to you guys and letting you know how I feel about life and cer certain situations and stuff like that. But yeah, just be grateful and happy for everything you have. Be grateful for family, friends, jobs, opportunities, anything in life, you know? But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I am going to not stay in the sun. I'm going to drink my coffee. And yeah, I'm going to see how, what we're going to do the rest of the day. Maybe stay by the beach. We actually have a chef coming today at four to cook for us in the house i wanted to do it yesterday for adam's birthday but we did the boat instead so today we have a chef coming in our house so hopefully it's not even tonight it's just so annoying because everything is closing at six even the chef can't be here after six he has to literally come at four and then leave before six so we're li literally having like it's not even like dinner so, I don't know. We'll see how it goes and I'll fill you guys in. Hey guys, so we just got a jet ski and Adam and Amir are about to go there. I haven't got on a jet ski in so long. It actually scares me a little bit, so we'll see if I go on it or not. Oh, they got two!
got a private oh, shop oh, and look how cute uh, the meal like, is. Off for a week because like cases spiked. Such a good uh, chef. So they hit me up, they're like, you got a book? And I was like, all right, I'm excited. What is your name? Uh, I'm Chef Adrian from Toronto. From Toronto. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to be here. Look so we're going to start off with our first course. Okay. We have some uh, base scallops, crudo. Uh, we have uh, orange segments. And then we have curly scallion and some sliced radish. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt. Let you guys smell that first. Oh, garlic dude. salt. Mm. All right, garlic salt. All right. And then we're just going to do a little bit of this. Some garlic salt on there. Some garlic salt Thank on you. there. Some garlic salt on there. Thank you. Garlic salt on there. And then we're going to follow up with a citrus dressing. So this is uh, pomelo, oranges, grapefruit, limes, um, lemons, and oranges. So all the citrus that you can think of, just gonna pour that on. The citrus is gonna basically cook the scallops, essentially. That's what it's gonna do. Good morning, guys. Adam is making us breakfast. Look how red he is. What? What? Do it again, I didn't see. Wow. Top chef. Top chef. <laughs> Guys, please. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm so fussy. <laughs> Amy, oh my god. I'm telling you, I'm here, and you know what he says? No, it's fine. It's like, that's right. Amy, you know, like, you know what your eyes look like? You know when you're moving. No, when you put your eyes smaller on the face. It's so crazy. I don't know why. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I want you to meet my. Oh my god, my bra. Guys, I wanted you. So we put on our bathing suits and we're gonna head out. Um, first, we we're gonna stay by the pool and then we're gonna go get some sugar because we wanted to make coffee. But I wanted to introduce you guys to my new sister. Guys, look. I'm so scared. What, no, no, no. Please come here. Look what this. <gasps> Amy. This has never happened to me before. Look, I feel like that Instagram Look what filter. the sun did to her face, guys. This is why always wear. I always wear sunscreen. I really? always do. No. no, I always wear sunscreen. But not today. No, I did not wear yesterday. that today because it's my sunscreen. I don't know what happened to it and I'm sensitive. <laughs> she literally looks like Saw. <laughs> This is actually scary. You see this? Have you guys ever wondered the height difference? No, I'm standing on a towel. So stand off it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the height difference. Oh my god. I'm 5'8 and Amy's 5'2. I don't need more sun. Okay. Guys, we just got some things for Amy's face because I it, like fucking ate, that's why. it was looking wild. So we got some aloe vera and now we lost our driver. Where did he go? Hopefully all of this works out and helps her face out. And I bought this hat, it's so cute. But yeah, hopefully it works and her face goes down. We'll see. Okay guys, so Amy showed them your face now. <laughs> she put some aloe vera on it and now she's just Guys, this has never happened I honestly to me. feel like it's going down, Amy. <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> I look like it. I'm, I'm sure that movie's called It, the girl who has just it black eyes. Just, no, you look like It with the circle red No, the, no the girl who has just the black eyes. That is and the she's grudge. The grudge. That's why I look like the grudge. No, you don't. You look like It. I look like the grudge. Okay guys, so it was a little crazy. I'm about to make, we're gonna do barbecue, so I'm just gonna season some drumsticks and I wanted to take, share with you. Out here, 
I'm the one who's gonna have to barbecue. this vlog um and it was a really fun time we had a really good time and don't forget to like and subscribe 